Hi guys, tabletmastered.com here with a quick iPad video tutorial for you which will show you how to check that you're running the latest version of the software. You may want to do this because it, it just some updates are bigger than others and every couple of weeks an update comes out which will tweak or do certain things to the operating system normally to make it better. So I'm going to show you very quickly how you can check that you've got the latest software and how you can install it and also how you can see what it's going to do to your iPad. Now um, I'm here on the home screen of the iPad, the first screen you'll see when, you, um, when you're on your iPad. The icons or the apps might be a bit different to yours because they can be moved around. But what you want to do, I'll just show you with the mouse cursor here because I'm streaming this screen to you through the computer so you won't have a mouse cursor like this but you can see it here on the screen and you want to find the app called settings it looks like some gear cogs here now it could be anywhere on this screen and you can also swipe and find it but it will be there somewhere settings it looks like some cogs mine's here so I'm just going to push that with my finger um, and I'll just go back to the first screen that you actually see is this settings screen and you can see down on the left hand side you've got airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb and so on all the options that you can change you want to just tap general here okay I've tapped it but I'm already on general and you can see on the right hand side once you do that you'll have about and, and all of these options but the one we're concerned with is software update so if you just tap that software update with your finger it will check for updates and the update that I've got suggested is IS, uh, sorry, iOS 6.1.3 and it says if the text is too small it says this update contains improvements and bug fixes now if you're concerned about what it's going to do to your iPad you can tap on learn more and again if this text is too small it says it fixes a bug that could allow someone to bypass the passcode and access the iPhone app and improvements to maps in Japan I also know having read staying up to date with technology blogs and so on on the iPad it actually blocks some software that um, uh, jailbreaks your iPad so it's just a another thing it does but you want to try and stay updated so to download and install you just tap download install and it will bring up the terms and conditions we're going to agree to that and another confirmation comes up we're going to agree and it says software update to save battery plug your iPad into a power supply while downloading do you want to update later or continue without power. I'm going to click on continue or tap it with my finger and you can see here um, at the top you see that blue bar going across and it tells you that we've got less than one minute remaining so it's quite a quick update sometimes you'll find that they're a lot larger than that that's just um, quite a quick update and it will tell you every step it says I'll just move this cursor out of the way it says preparing update and it's moving across once that's actually downloaded and it starts to install it may restart your iPad sometimes they do sometimes it doesn't but for this for this software update you won't particularly see any real changes to the iPad. I'll just let that go along and then I'll restart the video once it's actually downloaded and installed so you'll see what happens next. That actually took quite a long time but as you can see it's installed now this box will pop up and if you do nothing it will just start installing or you probably saw then 
you could push the button that says install and now this is popping up and, and running around verifying update now the screen's gone black on the iPad it will actually be off your screen that's because the iPad's restarted itself I'll just show you once the um, uh, once it's actually restarted what the screen looks like there won't be any real changes but what it's gone to now is just a bar that goes across it's got an Apple logo and it's basically installing the update so you have to wait for that one thing I will say since that took quite a long time is if you're going to install this software update you're new to the iPad and you're thinking it's not working it is downloading it just does take a long time when you're in the settings and yeah and then it will restart itself and you will end up with a black screen with an Apple logo on it and a bar across the underneath the Apple logo that literally just fills up as it starts installing the update once that's done all being well you will have the latest software so I'll leave the video there because um, this is still installing on my iPad but that should help some of you that are unsure how to check what software you're on and how to update the iPad for complete video tutorials step-by-step -step guides on how to use every feature of the iPad pop along to tabletmastered.com and I will see you in future videos. Cheers guys.